Hey developers, today we're going to look at animations with Vue.js. So I took this example out of my book, the Vue.js in action book that will be available hopefully the beginning of next year. I'll put a link below if you want some more information. You can go and get the first chapter of that book for free. If you click below, I have a link to uh, my mailing list. Just go ahead and sign up for it and you'll get that chapter. So in this example, we're going to create just a real simple animation that moves from one side of the screen to the other when you click some text. And we're going to use the Vue.js transition component to do it. So this is kind of similar to my last video. If you didn't see it, I did it on Vue.js transitions. So, but this is an animation, which there is a difference between the animations and transitions in CSS. Usually animations is more than one um, it's not just going from one thing to another. Usually there's like key elements and there's different parts to it. So I did a, a quick animation like that for it. So let's go ahead and jump in and take a look at how it works. All right, here. So I have open here just a blank form. Um, you can see here I have the doc type, HTML, the head. So there's really nothing on the screen yet. So, but if we add something to the body, I don't know, hello world. And I'll refresh it. As you can see here, hello world on the screen. So it's definitely working here. So let's go and add our Vue.js first. So within between our script tag, I'm going to go ahead and do new view. This is our view constructor. And I'm going to add in EL. And this is going to be the entry point of the app, of the element of the app. So we'll go ahead and create a div here. I'll put ID app. And I'm going to go ahead and create a data function here. And inside this data function, we're going to return an object. And this object is going to have our data element. So let's put in just a message here to make sure it still works. Uh, hi from view. And we'll. Go ahead and just do double curly brackets. So it interpolates it and it didn't work. So we need to figure out why. It says unexpected token. So I don't need the apostrophe there. There you go, hi from view. So we know Vue.js works. So let's create a title here. Title. And we'll call it, it was the best of times. And I'm going to create something called show. That's going to be another property. And we're going to just keep it as false there. So first, uh, let's create, let's just show the title here. And uh, we'll make an H1. I'm not going to do any special CSS or anything here. I'm just going to use some basic tags for this example. And then I'm going to create a description too. So down here, I'm going to create a description. So the idea here is that we have a title to a book and then we have a description underneath. So I don't know, lorem ipsum info blah description. I just made that up, doesn't really matter. So we're gonna just put the description right underneath it. I don't know, maybe we'll put in an H2 tag. And we'll save it. And we'll load it. It was the best of times. And then you have this text right underneath it. I don't know, maybe I'll make it H, H3. It doesn't really matter. And we'll reload it. So, But what we want to do is every time you click on the text, I want it to show the description. So we could, let's just do this. Let's, let's surround this. And we can use a VON, but we can also just use a, a shorthand for it, which is the at sign. And that'll be our click event. And we're going to use this click event. And we're going to just do, we can actually put JavaScript basically right inside the quotes here. So I'm going to do quote show not show. So basically it'll, it'll just toggle that show. And then let's do this. We'll put the title outside of it. Actually, let's do this. We'll have the title inside of it. So every time you click the title, it'll toggle show or not show. And then we'll put right here, 
I'm not sure you can do this. Let's do VF and we'll have show. So let's see here. Refresh it. You click it. See, yep. So it's toggling back and forth. You can see here. So every time I click it, it just shows the text, the description for it, which is fine. But what we want to do is actually do an animation. So when we click it, we want uh, we want the text here to kind of come in from the right. We want to make it a little bigger and then move to the left and just kind of do just a real basic animation just to get you an idea how it works. So I have the style tag up here and uh, we can go ahead and do that. So to do this, let's add a transition. So if you don't remember in the, my last video transition, this is actually a component inside Vue.js, a special element that we can do. And let me add it, let me put it in between it. And now since we have this transition, if we do that, it's not going to change anything. It's still going to work just as you expect. But we can now, we, are, we have some classes that we can use. So we have this V interactive and we have uh, actually V interactive and then we also have a V interleave active actually, that's what it's called. And so these get applied to the transition when it either appears or disappears from the DOM. So we can do something like this. We can put an animation in it, put a bounce in two seconds. So we're gonna create some keyframes for this. So we're gonna do the same thing here, and but we're gonna do it in reverse. And so let's go ahead and create some keyframes. So we have keyframes, bounce in, And then we can set at different times. So we have 0%, and then we'll have it at 60%, and then finally 100%. So let's say it's this 0%, we're gonna do a transform, and we're gonna scale it, make it smaller. We're also gonna set the opacity to zero, a 60%. We're going to transform, we're going to put the scale at 1.2 and we'll put the opacity at 1 and then at 100% we'll do, so we'll actually make it a little smaller so it just kind of have that effect where it comes in and out. So we have our keyframes, we have our animations and we have this transition at the bottom. So let's save it, we're going to reload it. So now when I press it, you can see here, it kind of gets a little bigger and then it moves over to the right. So that's that's how it works right there. So we'll see it again. So if I hit it again, it kind of makes it bigger and then moves it out. I could also, I wonder if I do this. Maybe this will give it a smoother. So now, okay. So it kind of fades out and it fades back in. So that is really it. So that's that's how you do animations. You know, I didn't have to do anything else. You could take a look at what it's doing if you look at the elements. If you could see that here. But if I click on it, it adds this V leave active V leave two. If you click on it again, it adds the V enter active V enter two. So that is really quickly how you do animations. So these are special classes that you can add to your transitions. Another thing you can do is in this transition, we can actually name the transitions, you know, in case we had more than one. So we can name this, I don't know, bounce. And since it's named bounce, we can name it this V dash here. We just change that to bounce instead of V dash since it's named. If we save it there, reload it. You know, let's go ahead and make this, I don't know, let's make this just to see if it works, 1.7 makes it even bigger. I'll reload it. So now it gets really big and then it goes back to one. So of course it goes off the screen, but that's okay. And it does the same thing in reverse. So that, yeah, that's a quick example of how to use 
uh, animation. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below. I'm going to go and do another video where can we can look at the JavaScript hooks to do this and how we can do some different types of animation. And uh, if you like these type of videos, please click that subscribe button. That really helps me. And if you're a super fan and you made it all the way in this video and you're not like the other people that just clicked off, I have a surprise for you. I actually have an extra copy of my Vue.js in action book that I mentioned at the beginning of the video. If you can leave a comment below with the word transform somewhere in it, I will pick one winner uh, probably next week and you'll get a free copy of my book. So thanks for watching all the way to the end. I appreciate it. And if you did watch, please click that uh, subscribe button and then also click that little bell button and you get notified next time I create a video. Thanks.